Wow, can you believe it's Monday night already? Feels like I just did this yesterday. Good evening, everybody. Al Blanke here with your Monday Night Agent webinar. Thanks for joining us. We do it every Monday night at 8 o'clock, and we keep it nice and short, but hopefully very informative. we got a good one tonight. Uh, before we get started, just a quick update on some of our new technology to be that should be here sooner than later, including um, the ability when you price medication on our search tool to see what the average wholesale price is, or the average retail price, I should say. So that will really provide a, a wow member benefit when they see our cost for a drug is $6 and the retail price is 100 um, No pressure on Eric, who's on the call, actually get that done. <laughs> he did tell me about a week or so. So hopefully we'll have it done real quick. You know, there are several ways to promote your business. We constantly train you on types of businesses you can call on and industries that you can partner with. But we really haven't focused much on one of the easiest ways to touch the masses. And you can do it from the comfort of your home. It's all about social media. That is our topic this evening, folks. And I've talked to a lot of people about this prior to uh, our training this evening. And I get the same old lines. Oh, that's for kids. I'm too old for that. It looks very complicated. Guess what? That's bull. It's easy. And it takes m very little time, much less than you may think. And we're going to show you that tonight. So our agenda this evening. We're going to have an overview of social media in general, basically a definition of what social media is. We'll look at the most popular sites, you know, those with the heaviest traffic and most users. We're also going to briefly go over how to actually create your profile, and we'll refer to your back office for that. Uh, we'll show you various ways to use social media to grow your business and get the word out there about your card, your get benefit relief products, and also the agent opportunity, and then finding content. One of the most important aspects of social media, how to attract followers and find connections. And then, of course, uh, the famous weekly Q&A. So social media, an overview of social media, basically a definition, it refers to the means of interactions among people in which they create, share, and or exchange information in virtual communities and networks. The key principles for social media, well, it's about conversations community, connecting with audiences, and building relationships. It's not just a broadcast or a sales and marketing tool. Authenticity, honesty, and content are all key. So some of the top social media sites, let's start with the granddaddy of them all, Facebook. Facebook has 1.35 billion monthly active users. Two and a half billion pieces of content are shared every day. And if you didn't think it was for businesses, well, guess what? You're wrong. More than 30 million businesses uh, have pages, so it's really replacing the old yellow pages. And there's a lot of commerce going on on Facebook as well, over 1 million advertisers. As a user, you can post up to 1,500 times a day. That's a lot of content. And 7.5 million websites contain the like or share button. So they're actually cross-referencing their Facebook page on their business site. Um, you could use Facebook really to push out your card, and now with our new technology, thanks to Eric, you know you can send them right to the print card page where they can actually type in their mobile number and download the card right to their smartphone. That's the approach I take there. Most people on Facebook or have smartphones, so you want to say download your free card here. Um, so that's Facebook. Next we have my favorite, which is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network. They have over 380 million members that connect, share, and do business right on that site. You can actually make targeted connections. You can actually search for industry types. There are several uh, groups that you can actually join, healthcare groups, pharmacy groups. You can join these groups and connect with others and let them know about the opportunity and the product. And it's also used for employment opportunities. There are a lot of uh, business opportunity seekers that are on LinkedIn, all professionals, and it's a perfect uh, avenue and venue to promote your RxCut or BizOps site. Next we have Twitter. Now Twitter is a little bit different um, than, than Facebook or LinkedIn. It's a platform where users can share thoughts, news, information, and links in very short messages of 140 characters or less known as tweets. Twitter has over 241 million monthly active users, and there are 184 million monthly active users using mobile. Get this number right here. 
347,000 tweets are sent every minute on Twitter. And the nice part about Twitter is you don't have to be a rocket scientist or a genius. You don't have to think up your own tweets. You can actually retweet other good content that's out there. So you can search for things that are relative to our business model, you know, like uh, pharmacy or healthcare, and just repost that or retweet it. Another very active site is YouTube. YouTube is basically a free video sharing website. I'm sure most of you have already been on there in one fashion or another. In fact, most people are replacing sometimes their cable with, uh, with YouTube. Six billion hours of video are watched on, on YouTube every single month. It is the world's third most visited website. And if you can guess who number one is, it was the first one we reviewed today, Facebook. Now, uh, YouTube was purchased by Google back in 2006, and it gives uh, members who can join for free the ability to create and post any kind of video. So you can basically film yourself on your webcam, going through your RX cut site, uh, pricing medications, show how the card print works, and even promote your biz op site there. You can push out your links to your business opportunity site, and you can actually create multiple channels. So if you were involved in another business, it doesn't have to be just for RX cut. So they are the top social media sites, but there's also many more uh, notable sites out there that get lots of traffic and visitors, like Instagram, Google Plus, Pinterest, Tumblr, VK, Flickr, and Vine. Vine is actually a quickly growing site. It, it much rivals uh, Facebook uh, for social media. So creating your social media account. Well, I'm sure, that, listen, if you guys are on this call, you're in the technology in some way, you have a computer, and I, I'd be really surprised if everyone didn't have a Facebook account, and hopefully most of you uh, have LinkedIn accounts. Uh, but creating your social media profile is very important. You want to use your RX Cut and GBR logos. Keywords that are relevant and have things to do with our industry, like healthcare, savings, uh, pharmacy. The more detail, the better the chance of exposure. And you also want to include on all these sites not only your RX Cut website, but your GBR and your BizOp site. Another important thing is to complete your bio. Uh, you don't want to have an empty bio. You want to fill it out. And once again, within that bio, you want to use keywords that are relevant to our business. And at this point, we're going to go into your back office right now and show you just where you can find this information. So under your library, we have a whole um, folder that is dedicated to social media. And the first attachment really is, I call it social media for dummies. It brings up this. It will actually show you how to create a Facebook page, a LinkedIn page, a Twitter account, Instagram for PC, for mobile, Pinterest, and there are several social media tips on how to write content, how to prepare your page, and how to get the best use of it. In addition to that, we have for lead generation, and I believe this was a website. There we go. Social media for lead generation, it goes through um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and this is a pretty easy read, uh, and it's really just defined information on how to get the best out of your LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter profiles. More tips for social media. Includes this page with some facts and figures on the top visited sites. Best social media and content marketing tips. Using stories to create a personal connection. You can post content more than once. Some people just constantly tweet or post the same thing over and over and over. Um, the fresher the content, even if it's already been posted, uh, the better in the rankings you're going to get and the more visibility you're going to get as well. And you want to speak to your audience the way you were a friend. Don't be too salesy. Um, just get them to the site and, and we'll do the rest. All right. Uh, in addition to that, we have easy copy for classified sites, which we're going to in just a bit. And you just, you just basically copy and paste these things. So it's all in your back office library 
under the social media folder. It's been there for some time, but I can guarantee you most everyone on the phone tonight has not been through that folder yet. So you want to, want to make a point to do that, and it's an easy read, and it's really step-by-step -step on, on what to do, exactly what to do um, to create your accounts. Now, getting the most out of your accounts. First and foremost, you need to build connections or likes. Otherwise, you'll be in a desert all by yourself, and that's very easy to use. Uh, to do. All you need to do when you build your profile is you look for people that you know and you reach out to them, you try to like them on Facebook or send a connection a request on LinkedIn. Very, very easy. And then once you start connecting with people, it sort of gets viral because you'll get invitations from other folks. You'll also get uh, pictures of folks that you may know because they know somebody you know and it really has a tendency to domino. Uh, it starts out kind of slow but it builds very quickly. You also need to post or tweet regularly. Now don't get nervous because it's really, really easy to do. How do you think we put our newsletter together every month? Do you think we have people that actually write those articles? Well, I'll show you in a minute. All you need to do is Google. That's it. Certain keywords. You can find articles, news stories, blogs, etc. And you simply copy and paste or link to your account. A lot of those stories have, you know, post this on Facebook, a little icon. When you do that, it'll actually put that right into your Facebook account so you can post it or you can tweet it if you have a Twitter account. And we also help you out once a month because we provide content every month with our newsletter. I'll give you a quick for instance. You type in healthcare news, let's click on Forbes. Here's some great stories. Here's your headline, undocumented immigrants try to get Obamacare. You click on that and you copy the link and you copy the heading, post it and the link right under it. It's as simple as that. That's all you need to do. So some top classified sites. Well, the, the, the mother of those sites out there obviously is Craigslist. It's been around the longest, gets the biggest hits. But guess what? There are several that are free that you can push out your business opportunity site on. Backpage, VendAnything.com, OLX, American Listed, and several more. And these were just some of them I looked at yesterday. These are all free classified sites where you can post your biz op for free. I'm going to give you an idea just how easy it is to do that. When you create a Craigslist account, you simply log in, you click Post the Classifieds, and we happen to be in, I think, Allentown right now. You want to click on Job Offered, and you want to make sure it's not one of the cities where they charge you. There, most of them are free. Some of the larger cities cost up to $35 a day, but what you want to do is find the free ones. There's tons of them out there. You will abide by the guidelines, and then there are a couple of headings you could use. There's healthcare, there's sales, and there's nonprofits. So if you click on sales, all you need to do is copy and paste. And if you've been on here before, it'll actually remember this in your cache. It'll auto-populate. And I'll put my number here. Telecommuting. Unlimited commissions. OK, for disabilities, continue. Oops, we I miss here? Oh. contract. Now I can even put a logo here. And with images and publish. Simple as that. Pretty easy, huh? Now, I just got listed in Allentown. Now, the one thing with Facebook that I'll tell you is that you don't want to get too verbose with it. Um, there's a thing called uh, ghost it, uh, and they could also delete your listing if you, if you put in too many posts. You want to keep it to one a day. That took me, what, all of two minutes? So you can actually post in a different city or a different heading every day and have that sitting out there with your biz op site. So 
we have and we have plenty of visitors in BizOp. The nice part about the Business Opportunity Site, which you probably or at least should know, is that all you need to do, as we tell you, is feed the beast. When you put your link in there for your BizOp site, visitors come here, they watch the five videos that are very brief but very informative. They can either join up now, but the best part about your business opportunity site is it's on autopilot. We basically recruit for you. If someone signs up for the newsletter or they request information, we extract that info and that person is instantly inserted in Pardot, which is the most sophisticated email drip campaign around. So over time and on your behalf, we send out an entire series of emails as well as newsletters that tells that prospect more about the opportunity and then we send them back to your business opportunity site. I've mentioned this several times before. I have people signing up now that were a prospect of mine from businessopportunity.com over two years ago. So when you constantly touch these folks, and we don't bomb them, we don't spam them, we hit them very uh, on occasion with, with the emails, but the newsletter goes out once a month even when that trip campaign is through and sometimes you just hit somebody at the right time when they're either ready to fire their boss or they're looking for a new challenge and they're looking for some residual income. So summarize, social media is an extremely powerful tool and you can do it in the luxury of your home in your underwear. Uh, if you do it 10, 15 minutes a day, you'll be shocked at the outcome. Um, most accounts are free. There are some premium options, but really no need to do that if you're just looking to post uh, your links and the opportunity. You can reach thousands with little effort, basically copy, paste, and click. And you can promote all three phases of your business on just about all those sites, from your Rx cut card to download it, your GBR products, and also the business opportunity for recruiting others. You should start by connecting to everybody that you know. Use your address book. When you join Facebook or LinkedIn, you can always search for people. Search for those that you know, reach out to them. Once you connect to them, it gets viral from that point. And remember, content is extremely important. The more you update and post content, the more traffic you're going to get. It's as easy as that. Now, I'm not saying you need to join all these. I would pick three or four that you're most comfortable with. And I think the top four are, my favorite is LinkedIn because it's a professional networking site, but Facebook, everybody is on Facebook. Craigslist for pushing out your other site. And there's any tweeters out there, you can join Twitter as well if you haven't already. Listen, if you commit just 10 to 15 minutes a day, five days a week, you're going to be shocked at the kind of uptick that you get on your card and also people visiting your BizOps site. So at this point, it's time for the weekly Q&A. Well, I kept that real brief tonight. A um, couple ways you can get to us tonight. If you came in through a phone, uh, you'll need to type in your audio pin that's on your dashboard. That way, if you have a question, I can unmute you. Uh, if you came in through your computer and you're listening to your speakers in your computer and you have a microphone, you can simply raise your hand and I can unmute you that way. So let's see who we've got tonight. Let me expand this to a lot of people. All right, looks like Howard Fryman. Howard, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. All right, buddy. Uh, on the bottom of uh, our cards, it has the 800 number. If somebody calls that help desk and they ask for more cards, what do they get? Is it tied back to us? Yeah, we usually get a request in um, from the call center if someone does call that, and they try to collect the group number as well. So we can actually, um, you know, let our rep know, forward that email to whoever the, the agent of record is. But that typically is the, the way it's supposed to go. Uh, also, just to let you guys know, and let me move this over and bring this back, I keep getting calls every week, people saying, hey, I'm seeing people are requesting my cards. Are you guys sending them? No. Listen, if somebody now fills this out, whether they fill their name out or not, puts their address and asks for cards, you, the agent, gets copied on it, and it's your responsibility to fulfill that card order. So please get the cards out to those people. They want them so you know they're going to use them. Uh, sorry about that, Howard. Didn't mean to cut you off there, but did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Uh, oh, by the Excellent. way, I, I had a guy today. Um, I'm in a Walmart store. It's during Medicare season, and I give the cards out. Mm -hmm. And I, I had a guy today who had a 200 and some dollar prescription, and he went down, and they ran it, and uh, it, it would save him $20. It saved how much? And what was the retail cost? About two hundred and some dollars. 
All right, there you go. Not bad. Better than a sharp stick in the eye, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I don't see any other hands raised, but I do have a couple of other questions. Was that it, Howard, or was, did you have anything else? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, well, I, I do have some about the site. When I go in to to run the reports, um, uh -huh. it seems like it takes forever. Um, the report doesn't pop up, and then I've had times where I've gone on to something else, and then I've come back, and it has popped up sometime later. And, uh, and when you click on the calendar, sometimes the calendar doesn't pop up. Okay, I'm doing it right now, so I'm going to run a okay. date range from 11 6, and, and I'll do, do a claim detail report. Yeah, and I've, I've, wow. done, I've done it in Internet Explorer, and I've done it in in Chrome, and somehow uh, something just isn't working right. Yeah, I don't know if there's something wrong. I don't have a problem well, with the other sites. Well, I'm, I'm running a report right now, right? Watch how quick this is. Boom. Just populate it, and I'll do the claim. And this is for a couple of days. It's not just one day. Yeah. Claim summary, there. So maybe it's your connection. I don't know. Um, on occasion, depending on how, how far of a date range you're going, it could take a little bit longer. Um, but but typically, it's, it's pretty quick. I know that we beat that up. We had some problems in the past. But uh, have you tried it from a different computer? Uh, no, I haven't. Now, uh, I have a do, I do have the question up there in the... Where up there uh, you see the one RX uh, where, where the checkbox must that be checked every time? Yes, if you, if you don't check it, you're going to get a zero report. Not yeah, well, I, yeah, I'll yeah. check. Okay, well, I'll keep yeah. working on. It. All right, buddy. Thank you. Okay, next we'll go to uh, Tammy Kadina. Tammy, are you there? Can you hear me? Can yes, you I hear can. Me? How are you? I sure I'm can. I'm good. How are you? Um, good. Good. I have a question. So I have a box of these cars, and I've given them to um, a few people. If they can just download them off the website, do they have to actually have the card as well? No, they don't. Uh, the paper cards work well, uh, but, the, but the best form, the uh, best mode of distribution now um, is, especially in today's day and age of the computer, is have the card downloaded right, right yeah. to the smartphone. So basically, type in the mobile number, click text card, and a minute later, a high-resolution copy They'll of the card get a... resides on their phone. They show the pharmacist the phone the first time. The pharmacist should put it in their profile, and they should be good to go. They shouldn't have to use it again. And then on the my back office, I had mm -hmm. a question, and I wrote it down. Um, I may have to email you because I don't remember. <laughs> Um, on my back office, that's where I can do, go to get my UR link and create all that for my social media on the library. And yeah. then do, I know that um, a girlfriend of mine has used the card. Is that where I run the report to see? Exactly. Yeah, and you run it okay. on the date that she used it. And I would do maybe the day before to the day after as well. Okay. And, and then you just when, click on your group. Um, when are, oh, go ahead. Oh, you would just click on your group, select the date range, and if you want to see the detail of the transactions, which is everything, the drug name, the pharmacy, the retail cost. No, oh, once again, I did the same mistake Howard did. There you go. So it shows. So and then if, you know what drug, if you know what, yeah, if you know what drug she, she, she had the script for and what pharmacy went, you can find it easily. Okay, and then how often is that deposited as far as like us getting paid? I'm new, so that's why I have the question. Oh, you you want to get paid? <laughs> just just kidding. Thought, huh? Yeah, we, you know, we we actually we we send commission checks and, and ACH direct deposits sixty days net after the month closes, which is much better than anyone else in the industry. We don't invoice the pharmacies until the month actually ends, and it could take the pharmacies okay. up to one hundred and twenty days to pay. But within 60 days of that month ending, you'll get paid for all claims in that commissionable month, including those that are still pending and not collected. Perfect. Okay. For instance, we just cut checks uh, a week and a half ago or, and made payments, uh -huh. ACH payments, for all claims from August. So basically, it was 60 days after that month ended. And if we filled out direct deposit, that just goes directly into our account? Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. But you'll also get emailed a commission statement to actually reconcile the payment. Okay. Perfect. Because I have a, cool. I actually just um, took over a doctor's office where I will be the entire doctor's office rep. So um, every 
client in that office that doesn't have insurance is actually getting my cards. Oh, excellent. That's the way to go. Well, listen, so. not just for those that are uninsured. Remember, we're not a PBM, so our card works for everyone. Right, right. Those with prescription for benefits. everybody, yeah. yeah. And I'm okay. having an actual put together for the doctor where the doctor can explain that to all the patients. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Did that answer your question? Thanks, Danny. Yes. Take care. Thank you. Maurice Charles. You there, Maurice? What kind of ad would you run on uh, Facebook? On Facebook? Well, basically, you don't have to put much on there as far as a, a posting. You, I, I would just put, hey, would you like to save up to 87% off your prescription? Download your free card right here and post that. You don't want to put a lot of content on there. Hey, how about interested in, in, in um, creating residual income by giving away something for free? Check out the opportunity here, and you put your BizOps site web address there. Short things like that. Oh, okay. What about uh, Craigslist? Well, Craigslist, we have copy for you in your back office. Under the social media folder, there are ads that we've created and actually have used at some point. Here they are over here. And you just copy and paste these, basically. Let me drag them over. There you go. So we have it for the different headings, for sales, for nonprofits, and for healthcare up here. We give you the headlines you can use, what to put in for compensation. So you just copy and paste that as simple as one, two, three. It takes about two minutes to actually post a, uh, a classified uh, under jobs and Craigslist. Oh, okay. All right, thank All right. you. You got it, buddy. Uh, another question here came over from Joe Demidet. Do GBR sales counts show in the report? No. Um, Joe, when you have GBR sales, you'll get a monthly commission statement, and it will show you how many plus programs, how many dental or vision pro programs. So that's a report that you get once a month. It's not like the transaction reports. And one more question, Joe Orlando, how come RX cut doesn't have much of a presence or current content on social media? Well, there's a real easy reason for that. Listen, you're the agents. We don't want to steal your thunder, all right? Um, uh, we'd rather you go out there and promote your business rather than us do it internally. So we do that purposely. Uh, we could have a very strong social media presence. We can twitch stuff all the time. We can have a heavy influence on Facebook and LinkedIn, but we're not going to steal the opportunity from our agents. That's the quick, down, and dirty, easy question to that one. And it looks like I've answered just about all questions, kept it under a half hour so you can all go watch Monday Night Football. Hey, folks, we're heading into a very busy time of the year, the cold and flu season. So get rid of your cards and order more. Hey, next week, it'll be fun. Alisa Jackson will actually be hosting your webinar because she lost a bet uh, about the Cowboys and Eagles last night. So that'll do it for tonight. Make sure you join us every week. It'll be real interesting next week, so make sure you're here. Until then, I'll leave you with this thought. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great night and an awesome week, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.